All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, another quick update here. One thing I didn't say last time is uh, the, uh, the the reason I'm not in such a uh, such a hurry to get this thing working again and cutting parts is that I'm waiting for some electrical work to be done in the shop here. But before uh, before I can do any of that, or while I'm waiting for the electricity to uh, to get run out here, I can get to work on all the uh, all the calibration, uh, truing and tramming and all that kind of stuff. So uh, in the last few days I've done a couple of things. One thing is uh, I got kind of tired of looking at my gear axe being all rusty so I pulled them off and painted them and put them back on there so they are looking pretty sharp. I also trimmed off the ends. I had bought these at uh, I think they were six foot and I just left them that way so there are little ends poking out and I had to put a little uh, a little piece of foam around it so I didn't uh, uh, catch myself, catch my jeans on it every time I walked around it. So now I don't have to worry about that. So that's great. As you can see, I've got the gantry mounted onto the plates. So uh, one thing I did is I, I I do have this thing true. So the so the x and y axes are uh, perpendicular to one another, at least uh, reasonably close. Uh, what I did is I found a uh, a nice big T square, and I scribed a line. Um, well, it's on the other side of this aluminum angle on this side and the other and then I clamped down this aluminum angle so that it would give me a nice flat surface so that I can run my my little uh, dial indicator thing along so um, as you might expect running it from across from one side to the other it, it does vary a bit but uh, the important part is is the uh, is the ends here so I made it so that the uh, before I uh, bolted down and did a final tightening of all these bolts where the this riser attaches to the plate here I uh, I made sure that those were was pretty equal across the whole thing so it's a pretty good approximation it's uh, probably have to be a little bit of take a little bit of tweaking later on I think once the machine is up I might try to make some kind of a jig uh, to make uh, to make alignment uh, more easy uh, I did measure from where my where my scribe mark is here to the end of the bar here where I have this block mounted um, and they're pretty pretty much equal from the two sides the one is a little bit off but uh, I can rest assured that the parts that I've made so far are not terribly out of true uh, so that's great the next thing will be to uh, tram uh, the the head of that thing so that means you know adjusting it in this way and then and then back and forth this way to do that I'll need a table so that'll be the next thing uh, one thing I so I had an MDF table so MDF being what it is it kind of absorbs water and it'll warp over time and I've definitely seen that happen so my old one even though it's not too cut full of holes it's leaning up over there um, it doesn't have too many little drill marks from where I mounted stuff to it it still is going to be replaced just because it's uh, it's time uh, one nice thing is I think I can just use that as a template use my old one as a template for drilling all my holes since I did go to the trouble of taping down all my T bolts or my my my, my T nuts in here um, so it they should all drop back into place if I if I did it right so um, Fingers crossed on that, so that'll be the next thing, and then I'll and then I'll start tramming that millhead, and then once the power gets here, uh, well, that is to say the uh, the the extra juice that I'll need to run the dust collector and all that stuff, then I can start cutting parts. All right, thanks for watching.